Hello, I am Mungutu Daudi. And I'm Becky Kataga. And welcome to Fast Fast. Fast, the show that makes way for women to have a voice in the political conversation. On the show today, we're dealing with perceptions and female leadership in Uganda. And discussing whether negative attitudes are stopping women from joining the political sphere. Now, joining us to further the debate is human rights activist Jackie Asimwe. And we have a writer and lawyer, Patience Akumu. The man with the funny bone, Leaving Thomas. And think tank advisor, Patience Quizera. Without any further ado, let's make, make way, way and make, make some noise. Now, it's no secret that women are underrepresented at all levels of government all across the world. Let's look at Uganda. Here women make up 51% of the population and 45% of the workforce. But somehow, they still struggle to get a seat at the decision-making table. Uganda's 10th parliament has 455 members. 160 of these are female. Quick math makes that... 34%. Now globally, this actually means we're doing okay. Proportionately, we have more female MPs than the UK, Kenya, and USA. Yes! Hang on, though. This is no accident. In Uganda, 122 district seats are reserved for female candidates. Only 19 women managed to beat the men to bag a constituency seat. Hmm. So why do women struggle to get into politics? Do we have a negative attitude towards female leadership in Uganda? Mwebale nyo, mwebale dala mwe naba sabo do tuwe gata kolero, ila mwebale jona jimutu seko. Mwele kuprogramu ya mwe ea fast fast. Gwaliye uwe ya galo kutuwe gata ko, sabo loko sa hashtag ya fe fast fast, kumikutu jafe jona eja internet. The hashtag is fast fast across all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Now, a big thank you, of course, to our guests for joining us today to help us get to the bottom of this conversation. And I'll start with you, Jackie. Um, do you think it's fair for people to say that politics is a man's game or uh, women just not being assertive enough and jumping in and saying, you know, I want, I want this? I think politics has been crafted around the man because traditionally women didn't enter the public space anyway. The public space was for men and therefore most institutions, not just politics, whether it's the judiciary, the media, most public spaces were male spaces, therefore crafted around male interests, the way male, males think, the way males act. And so to an extent, I think it is largely still a male space, even though in Uganda, we've had female leaders for quite a time. And I think it will take us beyond just formative action, you know, putting the women there to make it a truly human space. Mm. And, you know, it touches on things like the meeting times, because again, male in the public space, you're the leader, you're the one who can decide when you enter home and, and you're not necessarily answerable to anybody. But when women come into the space, they say, look, even though I have a public role, I still have a private role. And therefore, the times we meet are very important. Things like, even though I am a woman in a public space, I still have a private reproductive role. Therefore, the public space that you're asking me to enter must of necessity take care of those private roles that I still hold. So therefore, things like um, having a nursery room, things like being able to have a toilet that has a baby changing place. I know we, we might think these are all, I mean, why, why would you enter the space? Either come in very early when you're single or very late when you're a grandma. But if we are to have spaces that are truly holistic, we must make them as woman friendly as they are. So unfortunately, like I said, it's still a male space. By, by design. By design. But it needs both men and women sitting down to say, how do we transform this space so that it works for both of us? Okay, that's, a, that's an interesting thought. From what Jackie is saying, Living Thomas, let me, let me move straight to you. Before I ask you the question I originally wanted to ask you, yes. I wanted to find out, do you think from what Jackie is saying that the female leaders in society today are a bit of tokens? They're like, it's like a tokenism effect? We have, we have a member of parliament. Yes, I mean, she's there, but she doesn't necessarily wield enough power to affect change. Uh, to me, I think she's right well, but uh, 
in Uganda, in Uganda there are things that uh, are still difficult for, especially women. For example, sometime back, like sometime back when they were arresting uh, the, the Lord Mayor, you saw how the, the scaffold was. Eh? Mm. There is a way you have to be a bit, a bit muscular and eh? you have to be fit, which is not common to, to women. So, <laughs> you know the way he was screaming, we, 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 we. So, to me, I think uh, a, a decent woman like her, when she's, when she's, when she's, when she's, when she's, she's scared, like for the first time, I don't think she can go back. <laughs> so, so, so you're saying you're saying the way the way uh, you know again our political space and the way the the, the law enforcement agencies handle exactly. politics is you have to have mm. aggression. It is still too you hard to be macho. Yeah, to yeah. To survive in politics, mm, especially in, a, in our in, country. In our country. Mm. For instance, I've been really hoping I can run for MP one day, and I've sat down with my dad and I've had this talk, and I told him. I don't want to run as woman MP. I'd love to take a constituency seat. Mm -hmm. Then there's this whole discussion why our speaker or our women MP keep coming as women MP. So if you come in, as, come in at first as a woman MP, so that is like some sort of training. You should then MP close level. the space yeah. and let another woman come in and you run for a constituency seat. Yeah. I, I hope I'm not sounding too... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay, but it's I, I hear where you're coming from. You're saying that's what your father said. Is that what your father I said? I think or instantly, no, instantly, yeah. he thought, oh, women MP. And I went, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, women, no, 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 no. I'm running up against this guy. Yeah. Hmm. Now, when some men say that you should go to the women's seat because there's a special seat for you, you get, so that leaves the many constituency seats to the majority men mm -hmm. in okay. most of these areas because there are actually very few women that have taken up this, these other constituency seats. I actually think you should stand. You sound like you have a good head on your shoulder. But I, I, I like what you're saying. Uh, people, it's a perception, mm. a stereotype, mm. that you need to start somewhere, which, which is true. We all need to start somewhere, yes. But you need to start at Women MP before you go for a constituency. Yet, if you actually have the qualities mm -hmm. that could take you to constituency level, I mean, why wouldn't you? Let me ask Jackie, all male government, parliament, judiciary, positions of leadership look like? I think, and again, because society evolves and changes, we're just in the time where we can never go back to that. Why? Because we've made the argument that world over, women, in fact, are over 50 percent. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you cannot have representative government or politics where it is one side because then you're not representative. So even just for the sake of both of us must be at the table because both of us represent society, represent certain needs, certain interests, certain passions, that is one thing. So it's, it's, it's purely a question of the right to be represented by my own. And this has been argued both by persons with disability, by women, by, by any who were perceived, perceived as a minority, those that were excluded because it was defined as a male space. If you have space only for men, that is when you have very many appalling, appalling laws that are coming out because there is no female perspective. And it's also not just about having women, but it is having women of substance, women who understand the different ways in which women and men affected are affected by issues. We are not affected the same way. For instance, we are, we are discussing now reproductive rights, mm -hmm. abortion in, uh, in parliament, and then you have uh, an all men male panel on health. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. they, they don't know what it's like to carry a child. They're not going to have the perspective uh, of, of a woman. So in everything, uh, you, it's, it's just, it will just be a fallacy. It will be a great joke. We shall have these this crazy laws if we have a parliament that doesn't have women. It can't function. Yeah. It's impossible. Well, I think we hear what their <laughs> sentiments, we hear what they're saying. It yeah. is, if you are to have governance, work the way it should you mm. should have women involved as well mm. i mean everybody should be involved, male female so that we're fairly represented <laughs> and of course we'd like to know what you think uh feel free to get in touch with us on our internet platforms that's facebook twitter and instagram the hashtag is fussy fussy we wanted to know do we need more female politicians in uganda we took a poll to find out
Yes. It's a yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Not really. Yes. 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 It's a yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course we do. No. Well, it's clear to see from what we've just watched that some people still think that women shouldn't get into the political space. A great deal think they should, some still think they shouldn't. Let me ask, what are the characteristics of a good leader? Because some people think women don't have them. What makes a good leader, male, female? What are some of their characteristics? Right now, our definition of leadership is very male-centered. Uganda is run like a, a family with a bad father, who you must call Muzei, mm. who you must run away to the bedroom when he arrives, for whom you must kneel. Mm. And, and, and if you are different, if you're not complying, if you're not revering your leader, mm. if you look them in the eye and tell them the truth, if you do not appear physically in the way that your leader wants you appear, mm. to appear, if you are a slay queen, yeah. you do not have space for leadership in Uganda, you are going to be judged. Uh, um, let's talk about maybe Bobby Wine and Barbie. Barbie mm. had to drop her dresses for a Gomez in order for, for, for people to relate. Uh, every poster almost of a woman who is running for MP is a woman in a Gomez. We are still playing to patriarchal, to male tastes in so, leadership. So, so yeah. what we need to do is start to reorient our definition of leadership, expand our definition of leadership to understand that a woman might be different, yeah. but this does not necessarily make her a weak or a bad leader. Yeah. Now clearly, men and women have different strengths when it comes to leadership and wanted to know what you thought. So Becky Azeko Eyo Jemuli, do you think uh, that women make good leaders? I think naturally we're born to be leaders, so they really do make good leaders. No, 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 no. No? No. Baso wala burunji woku. Bantunga fe, nga basadja. Elana bo, baso ma, abakule mbeza basadja be baso ma. They've been given education, so I, I think they can make good leadership. Society changes, like the generations change. And over time, that is something that would never be accepted. So I think women will make good leaders because of the parent feeling that, that, that they're compassionate. Yeah, yeah, they're compassionate. They're yes. Women just don't do things. When you think of a good leader, who, who comes to mind? You! <laughs> I like that. Women are meant to be subordinates. Women are very emotional. And if you get her not in the right moment, she will, she will do things that she will not think about. A woman is a woman. IQ is perfect. They really do make good data. Well, let, let us know what you think. Um, what do you think about the things that people say about female leaders that we should stop saying? You're watching Fast Fast. And we have to take a quick break right about now. But if you have some thoughts, we're waiting on the water. To quote the internet, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hashtag is fast, fast. <laughs>